Oh my gosh, I am so excited. It's my annual cranial nerve exam. One of the best days of the year. I always love doing this. So this has been a long held tradition for me since I was nine years old. When I was nine, I told my parents that I was starting to, you know, see sounds, hear colors, and I was communicating with a Labrador Retriever extraterrestrials from the Mbada Ing planet in the Labrador Retriever galaxy that has yet to be discovered. And I was like, oh my gosh, like they were revealing all these secrets to me. And it was so amazing. I was like in the woods a lot. Like and they found me like barking at a tree, you know, because I was like talking to the fairy who was teaching me how to talk to the, the Labradors. Anyway, it was a big hot mess of a year. But my parents were worried. So they sent me to a doctor to have a cranial nerve exam. And uh, it was so much fun. <laughs> the doctor was worried. I wasn't, but the doctor was. So he wanted me to come like in the next year and so ever since then I've just gotten like these head checks every year and uh, it's like really great. I'm great at this. I nail it. I see colors so well. The sounds that I hear are always intact. My sensations on my face, I feel everything. And like that first year that I went, they even gave me an IQ test and I almost got like a hundred. <laughs> like I don't, I don't score. <laughs> anywhere near a hundred on any other tests in school so you know so that just shows you that like I'm really good I'm like I might not do well in school but when it comes to like my IQ and my cranial like mm, I'm up there I'm really really smart so um I'm excited for Dr. K to get here where is she mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Kind of a weird looking doctor's office. <laughs> Not a lot going on here. It's just like budget cuts, but I'm sure that she's gonna show up and it's gonna be great, yeah. Dr. K? Dr. K? Dr. K is like, oh no, okay. Dr. K. Oh my God, it's a note. It's a note. <gasps> Not another note. Oh no. It was addressed to me. It says, Dear Katie, I'm sorry I couldn't make it to your annual cranial nerve exam. Oh, what? She couldn't make it? Why? I am attending a skin pooling therapy and chiropractic session of my own today. I find that the holiday stress has been too much for me as a doctor and I need to take some time off and do some self-care. She's so selfish. Oh my gosh. And you've been doing these exams every year since you were nine. I'm sure you figured it out how to see colors and hear things. You're 33. <laughs> Grow up. <laughs> I still need to be cranial examined. I still need my exam. Just because I'm 33 doesn't mean that I you know, don't need to run these tests. They're very important. They've always been. This is ridiculous. This is so unprofessional. This is ageist. Just because I'm not nine doesn't mean I don't, doesn't mean I don't need to make sure that I can read and like know what sharp and dull is. I am, I have my, I still matter in this world. I have my own things I have to have checked. Oh wait, there's another side of the note. Sorry for being harsh. Oh, thank you. Sorry for being harsh. If you could give yourself your own cranial nerve exam, then things would be great. Sincerely, Dr. K. You know what? There were some hard truths in that letter, I must say. But contrary to what Dr. K might think, it is very important that my head gets checked every year. My parents told me that. They still encourage me to go, you know. So I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna get myself a cranial nerve exam. I have how many years of experience? I can't do the math, but 33 minus nine. I have that many years of experience doing these and being a patient. So I think it's time for me to step up and cranialize myself. So first I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do my vitals. 
just gonna check things. I'm just gonna check. Okay. Right here on my on my heart. I'm just gonna listen to myself breathe. Oh, okay. What am I listening for? I'm listening for beats. I'm listening for murmurs. I'm listening for anything uncharacteristic. Ah, a little buzzing sound. Because the heart should be thumping, it shouldn't be buzzing. See, I know some of these things. I know the terminology. I hear... I hear thump, thump, thump. No buzzing. Okay, I don't hear anything anymore. <gasps> what happened? It stopped. Something stopped. My heart stopped beating. <gasps> oh no. Let's listen to the other side. Maybe my heart's on the other side. Come on, little heart. Come on. Come on, girl. Come on, girl. So it's bad news guys, I stopped hearing my heartbeat. I heard it thumping at first and then it stopped. Acute cardiac arrest. My heart stopped beating. It was thumping. Then all was silent on the western front. The silence of the wilderness speaks miles in terms of my still heart. The snowfall and cold indifferent wind mean nothing to my dead non-beating heart and black black soul. <sighs> okay. hope she reads that. Okay, so heart's not doing good. It's just not. Heart's never been worse. So, so far, so bad. I'm gonna listen to my lungs now. Can't believe I have to do this all by myself. But she's not even going to a scumbling appointment. But she made it up. But she's like, but she's like in the break room. She's like eating Doritos and like laughing at me, listening in. Come on, thermometer. Do something. Come on. Come on. <gasps> Stop looking. It just has a D. Does D stand for dead? Does that mean I'm dead? I'm gonna put non conclusive. Could have fever, could have cholera, could have scarlet fever, could have nothing. Anything's possible. All options are still on the table. Anything could happen. Next, I definitely need to take my blood pressure. It's gonna be hard without another person, but we'll see. Okay, so I'm just gonna split this in. Let's just tighten up the little spindle and just. reading at a zero right now, so so I'm proud to say that even though my life can be stressful at times, especially because I just bought my first guinea pig, and so I'm adjusting to having her in my household, but like even through that, my blood pressure is low. It's at a zero. It's like it's not getting phased. My blood's like, I'm not phased. I'm not phased by a new pet in the house. I'm not phased by a new job. I don't care if it's the holidays. I'm at a cool zero. And that's, that's, I like my blood for that. I think I have pretty good blood. Somewhere along the line, these gloves came off. I don't know how, but I'm definitely going to, I'm definitely going to put them back on. Um, so I think it's important to be clean and sterile, okay? And then next, I think that I'm going to be doing just a sharp and dull test, okay? What sharp and what's dull, okay? Okay, sharp. So this is dull Katie and this is sharp Katie. Got it, okay. That's dull. That's sharp. That's soft. That pokes, that hurts. It's painful. This is soft. This 
so soft. Oh, let's, let's chirp. This is a lullaby. Oh, that's a hell storm. This is gentle. This is mean. Nice. Mean. Sweet. Salty. Gentle. Rough. Sanguine. Fiery. Elated. Furious. really sharp. Oh, that was the sharpest. Oh, stop. It's so sharp. Oh, oh, help me. Oh, it's pricking me. Oh, it's so painful. Oh, get away from me. Come and save me, a soft little lamb. Oh, leave us Leave us alone. <laughs> leave us alone. You're hurting us. Oh, stop. Now you're hurting the soft bunny. You're hurting the gentle. You're hurting the. Stop hurting. Stop it. <coughs> Sit down. We're done with you. We don't need you anymore. We know it's sharp. You don't have to bully us anymore. We're free from you. <coughs> that was really stressful. Wow, that was a lot. So, uh, I understand now, like, what they do in med school. Like, it's a lot. To have to deal with this every day as a doctor like no wonder why they get paid a lot of money okay so but i think i passed that test sharp and dull test was successful the sharp implement got out of hand adjustments had to be made mr sharp was dethroned from power the yeah, basically that's how it went. I think that was a good medical description of like what just happened in the last three minutes. So I'm pretty confident that I got it. I nailed it. I did it right and I got it right. So next. What's next? What's next? Well, I have to whisper things in my ear. That's right. That's what she does. Okay, so I have to whisper. Purple people eaters. Okay, purple people eaters. Okay. Stop things. I love ASMR. I love ASMR. I love checkups. I love checkups. My name's Katie. My name's Katie. I'm getting a puppy soon. I'm getting a puppy soon. Stock market. Stock market. Widgets. Widgets. Gadgets. Gadgets. Excel spreadsheets. Ex Excel spreadsheets. Cleaning services. Cleaning services. Stethoscopes. Stethoscopes. Ceiling fans. Ceiling fans. Moscow. Moscow. Provinces, the provinces. Okay, okay, so I think I, I said things, I repeated them, and I think I repeated what I said, which is important. That's what I've learned throughout the years. You can't just say what comes to your mind during a hearing test. You have to repeat what the doctor tells you. And since I'm the doctor, I think I, I think I repeated, I think I repeated my own words. I repeated my own words. I did so good. I'm the best audio doctor on the planet. That's a fact. That's not even bragging. That's just a fact. Next is my favorite part of a cranial nerve exam, which is colors. I love colors. I love being able to look at a color and just know what it is. I'm so good at it. I love looking at a piece of fruit and just being able to say, oh, that's an apple and that's red. And actually like Actually, I do get judged for it sometimes. I do because I do like to practice in my day-to-day -day life for my annual cranial nerve exam. So when I was on a date with this guy last week, we were out to brunch and the mimosa came. And I was like, that's orange. And then, our, and then he was, and he was like, okay. But then like our fruit came and I like listed all the colors of all the fruit. And I was like so proud of myself. Like I was trying to really impress him. I was like, that apple's red. Those pancakes are golden brown. And I was like really getting into the colors, you know, but like he didn't seem to get it. So, you know, not everyone is on my wavelength and everyone 
appreciates um, what um, good color recognition is. I honestly think that he might have been jealous because he didn't quite know his own colors and I think he was projecting that jealousy onto me absolutely during our date so that's why he left early um, but I definitely like nailed every color on the fruit platter. Uh, so anyway, I'm just gonna get right into it. Pink, yellow, tan, green, blue, orange, dark brown, gray, green, more green, burnt orange, or as some would say, blood orange, burnt yellow, red, lime green, light gray, teal, red again, orange, lavender or periwinkle depending on what part of the continent you're on, dark blue, red, orange and purple, dark blue, light blue, black, lime green, Nailed it. Nailed it. I nailed that color test. I always do. I think this year was my best year. I must say. I must say. If I do say so myself, this was my best color year. So I'm gonna go ahead and write that down. Best color year. Couldn't get a color wrong if my life depended on it. Okay, color savant, color genius, color master, premier, color marshal of the cosmos as we know it. There we go. So that went really well. Next. Something that I will admit that I sometimes can struggle with is reading words. Sometimes words are hard to read for me because they're at a distance and they're too far away from me. Sometimes they're hard to read because they're words and I find certain words very difficult just inherently. Um, so we're just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna try to be kind to myself this year. It's a year of self-care. So I'm gonna try to be kind to myself and be okay with making mistakes if I do make a mistake. Okay, this is uh, it's not gonna go as well as the colors. Definitely not. But um, but I, I have hope. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, go ahead and look for a book and I'm gonna read it. And I'm gonna read it at certain lengths. It's gonna be good. So this is a book that I am going to read. I am going to read these letters. The Maid. The Maid. A little further distance. The Maid. The Maid. I got it. Okay, so chapter five. It feels awfully Stranga, stranga, strin, stringy. Strange. It feels awfully strange to be wearing. This one's hard. I've had this one before. Pa, pagam, pagama, pa. Pajamas, but it feels awfully strange to be wearing pajamas in the afternoon. It feels awfully strange to be wearing pajamas in the afternoon. And it feels with a turn of the K. Spell it out. Okay, like my mom says, spell it out. K. Okay. 
K-E-Y with a turn of the key. I open the door. I open the door to my apart, apart, apart to my apartment, to my apartment with a turn with a turn of the key i open the door to my apartment read them and weep i just read a whole sentence without stopping so i mean i haven't peaked in life yet because i've never been able to do that during the exam so you know trajectory is going this way for me in my life okay Last year I couldn't read this sentence. This year I just read it. Who knows next year? Who knows? Who knows? I'm always growing, always changing. This revolutionary, this revolutionary lady is going places for sure. So now I'm going to try to read it again and hold it at a distance. With a turn of the key. I fudge. I I open. I open the door. The door to my apartment. With a turn of the key, I open the door to my apartment. I read that so hard. I read that so well. That's so great. It's so great. By the way, they give me that same sentence to read every year since I was nine. This is the best I've ever done. Okay, so best reading of my life. Read the sentence twice at two different lengths. Eat your heart out, Margaret Atwood. Eat your heart out, Stephen Hawkins. I'm I'm just going to take a look inside to see what my tonsils are up to today. Uh, 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 I don't know. Looks like a good mouth to me. Everything looks pink and moist. No signs of scars or any, you know, um, fever blisters or anything like that. My mouth looks good. It's taste buds. I think my taste buds are good, but I think I need to check and see. It tastes like strawberries. Okay, let's do this one. It tastes like cinnamon. Let's do this one. It tastes like baby's breath. Okay, this this one. This tastes like a tire. It tastes like rubber, but like in a in an auto mechanic shop, so like a tire, a rubber tire. So let's write that down. Let's write that down. Strawberry, cinnamon, baby's breath. Tire, auto mechanics. Okay, so that's done. I hate to say it, but that was my cranial nerve exam. I tested all 12 of my cranial nerves. Um, everything went well except my heart. Um, it's it didn't it stopped beating. I don't think it's beating right now. I just like felt something like left the building in terms of my um, vitals. So I'm gonna go ahead and like. I'm gonna message my doctor on the portal about that. I'll leave a note about the rest while I go into the portal and I'll let her know that my heart stopped, you know, heart arrest. Should I go to the hospital? No, 
because last time I went to the hospital, they were pretty understaffed. So I'm just going to go ahead and see if my heart just kind of kicks up again and starts beating. Um, and that's about it. I, you know, I think I did good. I think I did well. I think that for someone that's not a doctor, I performed a very thorough cranial nerve exam and professionally with high integrity, respect, professional environment, sterile. I think that I handled the situation, this very high pressure situation with grace and beauty. Any head of state, you know, would have been proud to have handled the situation that I just did like I did. So it was a good checkup. Hopefully next year the doctor will be here because I always enjoy having the other doctor to interact with, but if they're not, now I have the tools, you know? Um, and I've been actually thinking maybe I should apply to become a doctor because I have a lot of experience. So what I lack in a degree as a doctor, I think I make up for an experience and passion. So that'll be next on my to-do list. So I have to go. I have a hinge date that I'm meeting up with and um, I'm going to tell him all about my cranial nerve exam. I'm not going to try to flex my colors on him too bad, but um, you know, I can't help it. I just have to flex my colors. <laughs>